Welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Highlights, features, and analysis with head coach Connell Maynard. Brought to you by University Kia, Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, Huntsville Hospital, Redstone Federal Credit Union, Fellowship of Faith Church, and X Golf. Bulldog fans, welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Good evening and welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm your host, Ted Dixie. The Bulldogs went down to Southern University in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, coach. It was their homecoming, a big game for us. But as you like to say, the further the season goes along, the bigger the games get. Yeah, it was a huge game for us. Um, uh, you know, trying to go 1-0 and this week and keep our hopes alive for uh, winning, the, winning outside and uh, playing in the SWAC championship. It was a great football game. You know, I got to take my hats off to uh, Coach Odom and his staff and his team. Uh, they kept fighting. Um, even in the last minute there when we took the lead, uh, those guys didn't need the field goal and they went down and got a touchdown. So you got to take your hats off those guys. They kept playing. But, you know, then look at our team. They, they didn't quit. You know, them guys kind of held the lead the whole game. We tied up. They go right back down and score. So I, I, our guys never quit fighting. They just kept fighting, kept fighting. Then we finally got the lead. And then we just weren't able to – Hold them, you know. They made one more play than we did down the stretch, uh, but it shows that we can play with anybody in this conference, and uh, we got what it takes. We, we just got to finish games and make a few less mistakes. Bulldogs came up four points short on the scoreboard, Coach. This one hurt really badly because your team was so well prepared, so energetic. But then after the ball game, Coach, only thing we can do is point towards our next opponent. Yeah, you know, we got to watch the tape today, uh, get it corrected, and uh, get ready for Jackson and. Uh, now all we got to do, now all we can do is control what we can control, which is win our next three games. And uh, then we need somebody to beat um, Alcorn. Alcorn and, uh, and we'll represent because our two losses in the conference came to teams on the other side, Pine Buff and Southern. So both of those guys are on the other side. So we just went out and we need some help from Alcorn, somebody else to beat Alcorn, and we beat them. We'll still, we'll still play for the championship. And we'll take a look at those first half highlights from the Bulldogs game against the Southern University Jaguars when we come back on the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, a church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Darrell brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. There's student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University, where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. 94.9. WJAB-FM Huntsville. 100,000 watts, 24 hours a day. Smooth jazz and cool vocals. I'm just a prisoner of love. I get misty just tolling your head. 90.9 WJAB. From the campus of Alabama A&M University. trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! 
Welcome back and thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynor. I'm your host, Ted Dixie. Coach is homecoming. The traffic is heavy getting to the stadium. I know that was playing havoc on your game day schedule, but we got through that. Had to walk a long way from the locker room to the field. Just certain things going on at that game, but you overcame all of that. Yeah, a lot of adversity there. Um, getting there, uh, the long walk back and forth to the stadium. Um, you know, we got to leave a little earlier than we wanted to for to start the game and um, just a lot of a lot of stuff going on. And uh, I was proud of the guys that were able to get focused and uh, and put all that to the side and stay focused on the challenge at hand, which was Southern University. And they did a great job of that. Do you think they'll ever schedule us for homecoming again, though, Coach? I don't know. You know, uh, that's not up to me. If they do, they, they better be ready to fight. And, of course, we're getting ready to see the opening coin toss with this new coin toss configuration, I'll call it, where the teams represent an end zone instead of a sideline. I don't know what that change is about, and I asked some of the SWAC officials about it, but they didn't make any comment. And here we go, Bulldogs getting ready to kick off. Yep, here's the opening kickoff. Um, it's a good kick, and um, covered it up pretty good to the 30, 33 yard line right there. Uh, we could have been a little better, but overall they went bad, and state quarterback, and uh, he had a big game on us. Uh, Skelton had almost 300 yards, excuse me, almost 400 yards in total offense. Yeah, I think he had over 400. Might have five. almost had double yards rushing than he had for pass. Yes, unheard of. You know, and, uh, we, we couldn't get him down. We didn't do a good enough job of, of stopping him. Uh, he beat us with his legs in his arm. It was our first play, and he had a good, uh, big game there by Abdul. Uh, and um, I thought he could have got a lot more if he ran towards the sideline there. But he kind of cut it back down the middle and uh, he got tackled. So he's Bentley on the outside zone. <clears throat> Getting hard yards there on first down. This is a little play wrinkle we put in for this week. And see the guy almost jumped right there. That's what we were trying to do, give him the jump. And, uh, and then we run the third time and uh, we got a little pass off of it. Good job by Bentley there, Coach, finding the lane and cutting back. Yeah. We thought in our opening drive, Coach, that we knew after Southern scored first, but we knew we could hang with them until we tried it on a fourth down and one call. Well, you know, last year they scored right out the back, went right down and scored on us. And then we, we took the ball on <clears throat> the next three possessions and scored and made it 21-7. So we weren't worried about them going down and scoring the first drive. Uh, see, we had a pick right here. And the uh, guy wound up hitting our own guy. You know, we got to make those plays. And they all getting some tough yards running right here. The defense is bending right here, but <clears throat> we're making some good plays. The quarterback try to keep it on the option there. We, we get him down. And then they're going to throw for it. Skelton wasn't known as a passer coach. So a lot of times the defense kind of sold out on him expecting to run the football. Yeah, we did, but... You know, you got to be able to stop him too. And here's a big play right here on a third down. And here comes, oh, it was fourth down actually. We stopped him. So now we got a little sprint out pass. Uh, Trying to take the safety out of play by sprinting out there. And then we're just running our offense. You know, they, they don't get them out there. We get the numbers. We're going to throw it out quick. Fast first quarter, too, coach. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, they hit the ball and uh, they drove down the first score and it was a big hit up, hit by those guys. Um, a potential targeting call uh, that was picked up, uh, but uh, Gardner did a great job of holding on to that ball because that was third down, so that was a big play to keep our drive going. Now Gary Coors is in getting a couple of carries in outside zone. And so we're moving the ball. <clears throat> the quarter ends and we change directions now. There's another first down. So we, we, we do what we want, we kind of mix it up, a little pass and run. And we're getting four or five yards every carry. Uh, that's what you want out, out of offense. Playing ahead of the sticks if we might hear that call. There's yeah, here's a third ball. down right here and we come up a little short and we go ahead and punt and pin them back. I thought the defense was playing well. And uh, it was a great kick by Spencer. And great, great, great job by the uh, punt, recover, punt team and, and down that ball at the two yard line. Good effort here, Coach. We had to keep Skelton, even though he had lots of yardage. There were times when the defensive line did what they were supposed to do, and that's contained him. Yeah, yeah, that was the key, you know, to keep it contained, keep the pressure up in the middle. 
the end guys was getting a lot of pressure all night. Here's a pick by yeah. Portlock. Adrian Great play. Portlock, a senior on your team. That's coach. a big play, getting us fired up there. Big stop. And uh, that's when it, we didn't make him throw the ball. We, we didn't make him throw the ball enough. And, uh, you know, he was pulling down in a heartbeat and take off running. That was a big play by Portlock, the senior. And now it's uh, Bentley time. So we give it Bentley again, and he's just trucking like he does, man. Now he's down to the seven yard line. And we throw the fade right here and get the touchdown to uh, Abdul and tie the game up 7 7. And we're right where we need to be, man. We're right where we need to be. Well, logs are tied it up in the second quarter, and we take another look at their play. Yeah, just a little fade route there. Uh, Abram, Abram got a, did a good job, Abdul, and uh, great throw by Quill. Back shoulder throw, Coach. Yeah, a little back shoulder throw there. And now Southern trying to score before the half. Good job by the Bulldog defense. Yeah, home. we got him down because he could have flicked it out there to that running back. But they got a score, and uh, it's 14-7 now. And uh, so we get it back right before half. And great I think catch. if he catches that clean, you know, he might get another 20, 30 yards there. That was a freshman, OJ. And uh, here's a quill sprinting out here and throwing back to uh, Gary. So we're, we, we're trying to move right there before the half, and, and the uh, half ran out. But it's a 14-7 game. We're right where we need to be. Uh, we know we can move the ball on these guys. And, uh, you know, the defense, when they do what they're supposed to do, we know we can stop them also. And, of course, that stopping effort, Coach, is at the half. We keep saying it's homecoming, folks. When you're on the other side of that, you really looked up as almost the Christians going to face the Lions, but the Bulldogs held up, and now you're going into the half off the field. But got a long walk, Coach. How did that hurt you on your time for preparation at halftime? Well, it, the, the half, they put us up under the locker. So we didn't have to walk all the way back uh, like we did coming to the game. So they put us in a little locker room. Uh, didn't have a lot of seats. You know, a lot of guys sitting on the floor and things of that nature. Uh, so, you know, they need to do better in that situation. But, you know, we got to make do what we got. And we'll take a look at the second half highlights when we come back on the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, a church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement, but the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. 90.9 WJAB FM Huntsville 100,000 watts 24 hours a day Smooth jazz and cool vocals Give me all to me Give my all to you 90.9 FM WJAB For the campus of Alabama A&M University Yo trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! 
Thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm Ted Dixie. Coach, coming out of the halftime, we're close, we're hanging, but I'm still feeling nervous because there's just no what telling, no telling what is going to happen in Baton Rouge. Well, we know we, we get the ball coming out, and uh, we got to set the tone and get a score. Uh, we move the ball. We only had the ball four times the first half. Uh, and, uh, you know, like I said, that, that first quarter was long, but they had the ball two possessions in that first quarter and took up the whole first quarter. We only had it once. So, uh, you know, we just knew we had to settle down and, and uh, go down and get a drive here and make it a game and, and get, get, get to playing Bulldog football. And we always talk about taking what the defense is going to give us, Coach. We were thinking coming in the second half, everybody watches film. So they know Jordan Bentley's going to get the football, but then you change that up on them some. Yeah, they did a good job of stopping Bentley, uh, and, but they gave us some stuff in the passing game and we, we knew we could take advantage of. And so we started we start chucking it down the field a little bit and, and we're getting some big plays out of it, which we knew they was there. We just needed the time, uh, and the offensive line did a great job of blocking for a quill. This game was shown on ESPN3. There are lots of plays that people saw at home and text us about during the ball game, Coach. We might get a chance to look at one of those later in the half of these highlights. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we got replay, and replay is to get it right here, the little screen pass we threw right here to CJ. Uh, he almost had a chance, man. I thought he was going to take it to the house. Uh, it's a good try. Uh, and then we get back to Bentley. And so we still keep him Bentley involved. He had 20 carries. He just didn't have 39 this week. And here's a play, another, you know. Wide uh, open. Yeah, they, they blitzed the corner without safety help, you know, so. O'Quill's a great quarterback, man. He's going to see those things when you do that and you have a bust like that. And now it's 14-14. And uh, here's, the, here's the replay of the touchdown again. You see the Southern safety yeah. look back. Time the ball was in the air. He looks back at the corner. There was a busted route. Xavier and Moore, another great catch. It's hard to catch the ones that are wide open, Coach, and the ones in traffic. Yeah, yeah, there's a little bit more pressure on you, but just go back to your roots. Catch the ball with your eyes. And there's the defense here making a good play on the outside zone, the sweep, the jet sweep. And here's the adjustment we made at halftime, but the tackle is not trying to rush, just getting pushed and, and holding ground where he mm -hmm. couldn't just take the ball and run up the middle of the football field. So that was a good adjustment we made at halftime there. But now they got the ball on the goal line here. And uh, see, we lose contain right there. We, we can't do that. We got to keep contained right there. Now they try quarterback sneaking. I think we're going to stop him right here. Yes, sir. Got a great push by the uh, D-line. We just worked that last week. We just worked that same exact play last week. And uh, the guys were prepared for it. Bulldog defense made, I want to say, three goal line stands in the ball game and did not give up any points on that. Yeah, we needed four, though. You know, so that's, 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 four, that's good. Four, yeah. That's good. But we needed that one more. We needed one more. So, um, the guys play hard though. And now he's Southern again. And, ah, good job there by Q. Kelly, staying on his feet, getting a big time sack there. And uh, now it's 21 to 14. They got the lead again. Uh, his kickoff return, we run into our own guy. Got to get out the way, number 82, Charles Shepard. Yep, Shepard in the way there. But here's a quill. We're going to skate the pocket, he one down to Abdul. And uh, he's going to take you to the house. Man, that was a great rollout by Akil and then a better catch of that coach and executing getting in the end zone. That's why I always like to say we can get there when we want to and nobody can stop us. Yeah, we, we got a fast striking offense. We can strike it any time, man, uh, through the air or on the ground. Um, when we do what we're supposed to do, uh, we can be dangerous. Is it me, coach, or is Akil a little more nimble now that he scored his first rushing touchdown? All right, nah. <laughs> he, he, he lost a couple pounds from last year. He got a, got a couple steps quicker, but um, he's still slow. Coming to the all-important fourth quarter, and this is a great drive by the Bulldogs. Yeah, it's 28-21 again. You know, we tied and seen the, they come back and uh, score again, so we still fighting, and uh, that's a great catch here by Bentley, man. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I don't know how a kid got him the football. That's yeah, just amazing. Yeah, he's a quick glass, man. And there's a throw right here out to Xavier Al Moore. Another first down, keep the drive going. Xavier Moore growing up right before our eyes. Right here's Bentley on, on, the, on the sweep again. I want to get two on that one, but we keep it a minus. So now we get make it like the same play, pull it out and uh, throw a pass and get another first down. And here's the fake reverse pass right here for the touchdown. 
another dime dropped yeah, by a quill, dime. dropped the glass, a quill, excuse me. His grandfather corrected me this weekend. I said, you need to take that up with a kill. He says it's, it's a kill. It's 28-28 right now uh, in the fourth quarter. And so we got a barn burner here. Uh, it's a great football game in a hostile environment. It's 25 to 30,000 people in the stadium. Uh, there's only a couple of empty seats and you got a football game. Eight, Eight minutes, 32 man. seconds yes, left, it's tied up. Uh, we get, we're gonna get a stop. Here's the kickoff. Got it down to the TN uh, because he was kicking into the wind. That was a great tackle by Fletcher, right? Uh, I think that was Fletcher. And the defense get a stop. They hold up and the punt go over his head and the ball bounced back to him and he was able to get it, get the punt off. That ball bounces right or just stays on the ground. It's a whole different story. Might be the scoop and score. Yep. And so now we're going back to Bentley again. Like I said, we gave Bentley the ball. He got it 20 times, which is about normal. Last week was the extreme and uh, we had to do what we had to do. But he get, he get, got 20 carries this week in about 80 yards. So he got some uh, tough yards, about four yards a carry. And here's the reverse Ooh. for the touchdown, but we, we get a face mask on 76 right there. And uh, would have been a touchdown. Josh says it's not me. <laughs> it's just it was, Robert Seven. He's marked down at the one. He marked him down at the one, but we had a penalty. He got to back this up. Now we got a sprint draw here. So we try a 44-yard field goal to take the lead. And it's good with plenty of spare. Yes, sir. That would have been good. Look like from 50. Yeah, good with plenty of spare. So we got a 31-28 lead with four minutes and 20 seconds left in the football game. Now we got to get a stop. They got a good return here. This is a good play right here by the defense. We're throwing the quarterback out. We're trying to strip the ball out too. Yeah, we, we to yeah, because he had a lot of rushing yards. So now here's a pass to uh, another good play. You know, it's third and eight right now. It's a big play in the football game, and uh, we missed it. You know, but we they uh they went down and scored, and so we got the ball now with 28 seconds. This play hurt us right here. Uh, we can't make that play. We can't make that throw because we had to burn our last timeout. And so now we don't have another timeout, but we get another big play right here. And then we're uh, going to throw an out route right here. Uh, now we're in, we're in position where we're 35 yards away. We can get the ball to the end zone. We just got to block these three guys right here. And uh, okay, so now we do get two more plays. So we got a completion to the 26 yard line. and. Uh, we got one more play, and uh, they get a sack on it. And so we had opportunity. Uh, you know, the guys never gave up, even with 28 seconds. We got the ball back down to the 26-yard line mm -hmm. with opportunity to throw it in the end zone and, and catch it and win the football game. So, you know, I got to take my hats off to our guys for uh, just never quitting, never giving up. It seemed like every time we scored a tie, they would score to take the lead back. Right. And, and then our guys would just come back down and score and tie it back up. And then we finally took the lead with four minutes in the game, and uh, we just couldn't hold them. We just couldn't stop them from scoring. Now, folks, you know what I mean when I say that game hurts so much. But to get over that game, the Bulldogs get to entertain the Tigers of Jackson State University, and we'll talk more about that when we come back on the Alabama a and Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. A church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. 
WJAB-FM Huntsville. 100,000 watts, 24 hours a day. Smooth jazz and cool vocals. And the home of Mellow Madness till midnight. You bring me joy. 90.9 WJAB. From the campus of Alabama A&M University. Daryl brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. There's student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University, where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs, or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs. Again, thank you for watching the Alabama A&M football review with head coach Kyle Maynard. I'm Ted Dixie. The Bulldogs get another chance this Saturday afternoon, 1 o'clock p.m. is the kickoff time. Jackson State comes to town, coach. That's the way for us to work off our frustration. Yeah, you know, we got to uh, get ready to go, man. Got to roll up our sleeves and keep fighting. The season ain't over. Um, we still got opportunities. We just need some help. And you never know. We might be able to get in the playoffs at 8-4. Eight, eight and four. So we just got to um, control what we can control, win these last three, and see how the, see how the uh, dice roll. This game will be high school senior day, so we expect to see several young people who are thinking about attending Alabama A&M University on campus. And this is also, Coach, the Hall of Fame game where people who have played or we like to say being a student athlete and how that might have changed their lives and they will be inducted into the Bulldog Hall of Fame. Yep, um, it's big. Uh, so we need a lot of support this week. Uh, the season ain't over. We still got three games left. We got to support these Hall of Famers and uh, show up and, and support the players and uh, help us win these last three games. So I look forward to seeing y'all Saturday, 1 o'clock. That means the pregame show may be heard on 90.9 FM WJAB starting at 12.30 p.m. So for Coach Maynard, I'm Ted Dixie. Service is Sovereignty. We'll see you on Saturday. So long, everyone.